Hi everybody, I'm delighted to be joined by Ludwig Eberg. Ludwig, it's been a whirlwind few weeks for you. How excited are you to make your BMW PGA Championship debut this week? Uh, I can't wait. It's, uh, it's one of those big events uh, on the Deeper World Tour that I've watched for a very long time. And I was uh, playing the course for the first time yesterday and I felt like I've been here before, but uh, just from watching it on TV and, and that kind of stuff. But uh, no, it was really cool and uh, looking forward to a nice couple of days. What did you think of the course, seeing it in person? It was good. It's, uh, it's a true test. It's fair. Uh, it's right in front of you. And, um, you know, keep it in the fairway, I think, is going to be key, where the rough is up and, and the greens are quite firm. So it's going to be uh, the best player is going to win, for sure. Thanks for that. We'll go to questions. Start with Martin. <coughs> I think it's probably going to be the, the eyeballs that are going to be on you this week are no, enormous. I mean, how, how do you sort of feel about coping with that? Additional pressure, perhaps? Um, yeah, I mean, just like you said, obviously, um, for me, it's been it's been quite uh, a lot last couple of weeks and last couple of months. So being in that, um, I guess, kind of spotlight, it's, it's been fun, but it's been a little bit different for me, too, because we don't really get that much attention in college uh, like we do here. So naturally, it's going to take a little bit of time for me to get used to it, I think. Um, but, you know, I try to embrace it. I try to have fun with it and, uh, and you know, once I get on the golf course, it's it's still golf, and that's what I've been doing for such a long time, and it's uh, what I feel the most comfortable with doing. Just share your thoughts about the get together in Rome. How did you find that personally? It was great. Uh, it was a lot of fun to spend some time with with some of the players that I haven't really uh, spent that much time with before. Um, so just kind of getting to know them outside of the golf course was a lot of fun. I think I think that's what separates us Europeans and the European team a little bit from from the American side, where we have that camaraderie and. Um, you know, hopefully uh, we'll be able to keep that and, and win some points in Rome in a couple of weeks' time. Go second row there. Hi, Ludwig. Um, something that's come up quite a bit about you is that you don't seem to show any nerves or any anxiety, particularly when you obviously having a lot of new experiences at the moment and new places that you're competing. I just wondered if you ever feel nerves or suffer from <laughs> nerves because yes. a lot of people suggest that you don't and, and how do you cope with it if so? Uh, yes, I feel nervous. I feel absolutely nervous. Um, it's uh, it'd be weird if I didn't, um, and you know I try to view it as something good. Uh, it means that I care, and it means that it shows that I uh, that I want to do well. Um, but you know, it's also just just being nervous doesn't necessarily need to affect uh, how you behave and how you get around on the golf course. And I feel like that's what I try to view it as. Um, and obviously, being in new situations uh, is going to be a little bit different. It's going to make your body react a little bit different. Um, but I try to, like I said before, I try to embrace it, try to have fun with it, and uh, play golf with uh, with a smile. And can I just quickly ask about um, Helsingborg, the, school, the high school you went to there? You spent yeah. a few years there. I understand you developed quite quickly while you were there, and I just mm -hmm. wondered uh, what your experience of that was like and how that improved your game. Yeah, it was great. Um, it was probably the first time that um, I started to practice a little bit more. Uh, I hadn't really practiced that much before. I was just going out and playing. and. Uh, that's where I met my coach, that I'm, my swing coach that I'm still working with today, and I felt like we've had, you know, a, a great relationship ever since we started, and he's one of the main reasons why, uh, why I'm here today. So obviously, laid a foundation um, for my career, and forever going to be grateful for that. Get to Neil next, please. Yeah, I look like just related to that last question. Were you nervous meeting anyone on Monday that you hadn't ch chatted to before in the European team? Anybody you met and you really wanted to meet that surprised you at all or learn anything about them? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say nervous. I was more excited, I think, um, just to be able to, you know, hang out with those guys that I've watched on TV for, for a very long time. Um, and I think, you know, it's really cool for me. I'm always, I always almost have to pitch myself in the arm that I've actually, you know, kind of created a relationship with these guys and um, <clears throat> getting to play with them on the golf course. And we all, um, we've all seen what they do on the golf courses, but it's pretty cool to see that. They're actually humans as well, um, and, and you know it's it's pretty cool for me. Yeah. Go to Alex next, please. Uh, Ludwig, most of us are asking the questions of other players about you. So if you had to explain who you are, you know, how you tick, what you do, what you like, what you don't like, what would that be? As a player, or as a person. As a person. As a person, um, I would say I'm a I'm a very calm person. I'm, I don't get too high, not too low. Um, I like to I like to see myself as a very 
um, you know, nice, um, considerate. I don't, um, you know, I, I, I want to treat people the way that I want to be treated, and I think that's very important. Um, and, uh, you know, I like to, to keep my feet um, where they are and, and not get too caught up in a moment or something like that. So I like to view myself as a nice person, um, but I guess it's up to other people to, to, uh, to do that, yeah. And just to follow up, who did you look up to when you were a kid in regards to playing, and who did you want to emulate? I think the main guy when I grew up was um, obviously Tiger because of what he did for the game, um, just the pure dominance that he had. But for, for me, as a young kid growing up in Sweden, I think Henrik Stenson was a big deal for us. Um, he had a lot of success both here on the DP World and on the PGA Tour. So he, uh, he's probably the one that I looked up to the most, yeah. Just get to Riyadh, please. Just behind you, Alex. Thank you. Ludwig, you played with uh, Rory on Monday. How did you find that experience? And were you playing against him or with him? Uh, he's good. <laughs> he's very good. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, me and uh, me and Victor played a match against him and Tommy. So we ended up winning on the 16th hole, which was fun. Um, but now it's obviously, you know, his resume speaks for itself and what he's did for the, or what he's done and doing for the game is, is quite incredible. Um, and to watch that firsthand was pretty cool. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's, uh, he's going to do well in, in most events that he tees up in. You beat him, did you say? Me and Victor won in a, in a best ball. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Secondly, you mentioned, um, you mentioned Henrik Stenson. Obviously, he's tied to this event in sort of various contexts. Have you spoken to him in the build-up to Rome at all? Um, very briefly on text, not too much, um, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that in the future. Can we go over here, please? Big. Um, Victor spoke about the shared culture that you guys may have, yourself and Nikolai and Victor. Um, how can you use that to help you on, on debut and make the experience um, an unforgettable one? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, kind of like what I touched on before, where I think as Europeans we have that team camaraderie and it is a team event. Uh, we normally play, you know, for ourselves, but now we're actually playing for something else and something bigger. And I think, um, you know, to have that support from your teammates next to you is going to be crucial. And if you don't feel that, it's going to be difficult to perform, but because that's going to give you a little bit of an edge, I think. Um, so I think the day we had in Rome was great for that reason. And I think we're going to, be able to keep that up in the next few weeks too. And uh, specifically with uh, Nikolai from Denmark and Victor from Norway, mm -hmm. how does that Scandinavian culture that you share impact? It's great. Partnerships on the golf Yeah, course? it's great. I mean, I can, so me and Victor, we can speak the same language. I can't do that with Nikolai because Danish is very difficult, but um, it makes it a little bit easier and, and we're kind of coming from the same background. So um, I guess we can relate to each other on a, on a similar level, but you know, obviously, um, for me, it's just a lot of fun to be in those uh, environments and be around those guys and, and learn and pick up some stuff here and there and, um, and try to apply that to my own game. Go to John Hopkins next over there, please. I spoke to Peter Hansen um, at some length last week. Um, w w could you just explain to me what his role is in, so to speak, your organization? Yeah. Um, so me and, um, me and Peter, we... I guess we've known each other for a couple of years, but I'd say in the last year and a half, probably, we've gotten to work together uh, more closely. He's more of a mentor to me, just because he has so much experience in, on the biggest stages in golf, and um, it'd be foolish for me to not uh, take advantage of that. Um, plus, I really love the way that he resonates about a lot of stuff. It's very sound. It's very... Um, it's very healthy, I think. So I try to be around him as much as possible and, and learn and, and listen to him and, um, and to kind of do what he did, yeah. And is he with you now? He is here this week, yes. And uh, he, he told me uh, that he was actually going to be with you every day until after the Ryder Cup. Yes. That, yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, okay. we're, uh, we're going to, to Spain next week. Where in Spain? Southern Spain. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not going to the Solheim Cup, are you? Uh, I am, actually, for are a few you? days. Yeah, so my caddy, Jack, his fiance, 
is playing the Solheim Cup, uh, Madeline Sackstrom. So uh, we're going to be there a few days and, and root for the Europeans and, uh, and then try to um, do some practice as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Just got one over here in the blue. Um, Ludwig, when, when you received your, your captain's pick, Luke Donald spoke about how in 2004 he had received a, a pick before going on to win in, in, in Crown, <coughs> whereas you won in Crown and then, and then he picked you. Do you believe in, in that sort of weird symmetry that sometimes occurs in life? Um, yeah, I guess. Um, I usually don't um, believe in stuff like that, but I think, you know, obviously Luke has a, he's had a great career, um, both as a as a player and, and now as a captain. So, um, you know, I think any time you get mentioned in the same sentence as Luke, it's usually something very positive. Um, so, obviously very happy about um, him picking me for the Ryder Cup, yeah. Go to Martin down here, please. Ludwig, a lot's been said about how well you drive the golf ball. When, when you got to Marco Simone on Monday and stood on the tees and the, and the rough's very thick, did you immediately see why that can be such a, a good weapon? I think so. I think, um, you know, obviously with the rough being pretty thick, it's going to be key to be good uh, off the tee and being in the fairway. Um, so, so I can definitely see that value and, and try to get it in the fairway. Um, and, you know, I've only played it once, so trying to get some, some better lies next time, but um, it's, uh, it'll be nice, yeah. We've got one over here, please. Ludwig, um, just talking about your sort of temperament and the fact you said you don't get too high, don't get too low. Rory was in here, said he cried when he was watching reruns of Brookline. He <laughs> cried at Whistling Straits. When was the last time you cried <laughs> down to golf? <laughs> uh, last time I cried. When... Liverpool beat Barcelona in the semi-finals in 2019. <laughs> what about golf? Never? Not sure. <laughs> Craig, please. Well, you just you, you said you, were, you like to think of yourself as a calm and considerate and nice person. Have you got a switch? Can you turn into an animal or a beast at the Ryder Cup? An animal? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure about an animal. Um, no, can't tell you that. Sorry. <laughs> I think we'll call it there. <laughs> Ludwig, yeah. thanks for your time. Good luck this week. Thank you. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here. <laughs>